Hello friends, in this video, let us discuss about the ground clearance of different overhead transmission lines. So, according to Indian Electricity Rules 1956, clause number 77, the minimum distance between the bottom conductor and the ground of a 400 kV transmission line is 8.84 meters. Now, according to the same Indian Electricity Rules of 1956, clause number 77, the minimum ground clearance of 33 kV, the minimum ground clearance of a 33 kV uninsulated electrical conductor, uninsulated electrical conductor is 5.2 meters and this clearance is increased by 0.3 meter for every 33 kV, for every 33 kV, above 33 kV we are going to increase the clearance by 0.3 meters. So that means if I increase, if I take it to 66 or 99 or 133, 132, 220 or uh, 400, I know I will subtract 33 kV from this 99, 132, 220, 400 or 66 and then I will divide that by 33 so that I can multiply the result with 0.3 to know the clearance that to be added to this 5.2 meter. So ultimately I can uh, know the minimum ground clearance for that KV transmission line, particular KV transmission line. So let us find according to this logic what is the minimum ground clearance for this 400 KV transmission line. So if I take a 400 KV transmission line then initially I have to subtract this 33 kV so if I subtract this it will be 367 so I want to know how many times this 367 is greater than my 33 so that I can multiply the result with 0.3 so if I let me divide it by 33 so that I can know it how many times I have to increase the 0.3 meter above this 5.2 meter so this will be approximately 11 so now if I multiply this 11 into 0.3 it will be 3.33 meters. So now above 5.2 meters I have to increase 3.3 meters to find the ultimate minimum ground clearance for this 400 kV. So if I add 5.2 plus 3.33 it will sum to 8.54 which is approximately equal to 8.84 meters as initially mentioned. So according to this logic what we said is for every 33 kV above 33 kV we are going to increase the clearance by 0.3 meters to this base clearance that is 5.2 meters of a 33 kV uninsulated conductor. Now similarly if we take the 200 uh, let me take 220 kV transmission line so for 220 kV transmission line 220 minus 33 so this will be equal to 187 so again divided by 33 so this will be equal to 5.66 approximately equal to 5.66 so now I have to multiply that 5.66 into 0.33 so this will be 1.5 7 meter. So, the according to this logic the minimum ground clearance will be the minimum ground clearance of uh, 220 kV bottom conductor is 5.2 plus 1.7. So, this gives me 7 to 9 that is 6.9 meters. Now, similarly let us find the minimum ground clearance for 132 kV. So, for 132 kV again I will subtract this 33 kV so which gives me 99 kV and again divide this 99 kV with 33 so that you can know how many times you have to increase this 0.3 meters so this will be 3 kV so 3 into 3 times this 99 kV is greater than 33 so 33 into 3 gives you 99 3 into 0.3 so this will be 0.9 meters so add this 0.9 meters to the base clearance that is 5.2 so 5.2 plus 0.9 this gives me 
6.1 meters and similarly for again if you take 66 kb line the ground clearance again should be equal to 6.1 meters so the ground clearance should not be less than this 6.1 meters in any street if you consider any street the ground clearance should not be less than 6.1 meter for 66 kv or 132 kv and uh, if you take again 33 kv in any street if you take 33 kv in any street or crowded places the ground clearance should not be less than this 6.1 meter though it has been mentioned these 33 kv uninsulated conductor ground clearance that is 5.2 meter it is only for the above cultivated land it is only for above cultivated land but not in any street so if you take any street then you have to go for the minimum ground clearance of 33 kv or 66 kv or 132 kv it is to be 6.1 meter only so this is how you calculate the ground clearance for any transmission line this is the basic logic i hope you understood well please subscribe to the channel thank you